my name is Adrian Pekarsik, and I'm a graduate research associate working under Dr. Kelly Tillman in the Department of Entomology here at The Ohio State University. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Asiatic Garden Beetle, which I'll refer to as AGB for the rest of this talk. AGB was initially introduced to North America 100 years ago, but this annual white grub species recently emerged as a significant early season pest of field corn in northern Ohio, northern Indiana, and southern Michigan. Relative to other annual white grub species, AGB can readily be distinguished by their bulbous maxillary palps, or cheeks, and their aggressive behavior, where they will run and bite when they are unearthed. Symptoms of grub feeding damage on corn seedlings include stunting, wilting, discoloration, and even plant death under high grub densities. Now you might be wondering, how can I identify areas of my field that are at risk for AGB infestation? Well, previous research has shown that grubs are concentrated in the sandiest soils of a given field. Once you've identified high risk areas of a given field, you should then look for any corn seedlings exhibiting grub feeding symptoms. If there are any plants that are stunted, wilted, discolored, or even missing, you should then dig in the soil directly around the plant as deep as six inches down and look for any grubs. So now that you've confirmed AGB grubs in your field, what do we do? Well, uh, previous research has shown that an average grub density of about one grub per plant will lead to the field stunting, whereas grub densities at two or more grubs per plant will cause significant stand losses. Here are some tips for management. First, the grub feeding window occurs from mid-May to mid-June. So if you can, by all means, plant your fields as late as possible in the growing season to avoid the grub feeding window. Additionally, if you have any sandy fields you're concerned about, consider planting those last as well. Alternatively, you could plant a different crop other than corn that the grubs have not been shown to cause an infestation to as frequently. Otherwise, the Tillman Lab here at Ohio State has been working on some preliminary insecticide efficacy trial for seed applied and inferro products, and our results are coming soon. For more information on AGB and other agronomic insect pests of corn, soybean, and other field crops in Ohio, please visit our website at aginsects.osu.edu.